Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you for joining us for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby in for Lauren Ashburn. President Trump emerges from Capitol Hill confident House Republicans will be able to pass the GOP health care bill. The president made his pitch today behind closed doors to rank-and-file Republicans two days ahead of a critical vote. We're going to have a real winner. It was a great meeting. President Trump, deal maker in chief, issues a warning to House Republicans. They could lose their seats in next year's midterm elections if they don't back the GOP health care overhaul. Representative Tom MacArthur of New Jersey is on board. He says the president has made valuable concessions, including more benefits for older and disabled Medicaid beneficiaries. We've now added $150 billion of help to people and uh, in the last week. And for me, that's, uh, that's enough to move from a, uh, a likely no to a yes. But Representative Walter Jones of North Carolina says he's not convinced and will still vote no. The GOP bill would dismantle Obama's requirements that most people buy policies. Federal subsidies based on income would end and a Medicaid expansion would disappear. House Speaker Paul Ryan says the president laid it on the line for the GOP. We made a promise. Now is our time to keep that promise. And we keep our promise and the people will reward us. If we don't keep our promise, it will be very hard to manage this. House Majority Whip Steve Scalise calls the bill revolutionary. National right to life is scoring a yes because it's probably the most pro-life bill that will get to a president's desk for their signature since partial birth abortion. And if Republicans can get a health care law passed, that would clear the way for Congress to tackle other priorities. This is just the beginning of a larger agenda so we can get to tax reform and to other things that uh, we need here in America. President Trump will continue to court House Republicans this evening at the White House. Representative MacArthur and a group of moderate Republicans will be in attendance.